What's up dudes and dudettes? It's Tony here with the Dude Network and we are doing something we haven't done in quite some time, a good old fashioned bourbon review. We all know I love the bourbon, love beer, drink both on every Friday and Sunday night on our live shows, uh, but I haven't tried many new bourbons here until a couple months ago. Ohio started coming out with Ohio LQ, Ohio Liquor Exclusive. It's got a couple cool bottles. Uh, but um, our buddy Bruzel, uh, I've been watching his videos, uh, been, came on our show one time, and he pointed out a brand called Penelope, and today uh, actually hit an allocation of two really cool finished uh, bourbons here from Penelope. One um, is a rosé cast finish, batch, um, batch 7, proof 94. Um, what's cool about this is even the cork is glass. Uh, it's got like a rubber ring on it that holds it together. Uh, we're not going to try this one tonight. This will be the next video. But the one I'm really excited to give a whirl tonight is the Valencia Orange Finished Penelope here. It is 95 proof and again it is the batch 2. Um, so we got our glass here. Let's just get down into it. I do think I was talking with the nice lady that runs this um, store over here in the aisle close to me. And uh, we agreed that this would make an absolutely dynamite old fashioned. So I think they're probably right with that. All right, I'm gonna turn it back now. We do not collect, I drink. First half is free. Second half, we've gotta have a purpose unless we have a backup bottle. That's just my bourbon math. And we've been, uh, as a family, a little sick this week. So bourbon. This is going to feel real nice. Again, this is the Penelope, ca uh, not cast strength, Valencia finish. So, mm. smell the orange on the back end of it there, but overall, pretty smooth and not bitey at all. A little sip to shock the taste buds. All right, let's give her. A little stronger than what I thought. And I know it's just on the shock, so this second taste will be a little bit better here, but I was expecting a little bit more orange on the back end, but let's see what this one does. Yeah, much smoother, that one. That's why it's always important to take that second one. Learn that trick from the owner of Cleveland Whiskey, Tom Licks. Still not picking up a lot of the orange, but that is a very smooth ride. It's actually pretty good. I mean, it's obviously real. It's going to be good. I've heard just heard about Penelope. I'm real excited to try this whole lineup out. Uh, their base bottle in Ohio is like thirty dollars or just under that, twenty five, I think, or between twenty five to thirty five. I'm sorry, uh, one in that range there, but very affordable, um, nice bottle, and it's not allocated the regular Penelope but this Valencia I mean I'm going to definitely keep drinking this stuff football's coming on here in a little bit this will be my little sipper of the evening but I am excited to do some orange bitters with this and turn it into an old-fashioned uh, as well so but no overall Valencia by uh, finished Penelope uh, the Cooper series I would say I got fairly lucky with this one. This was the last bottle they had, and the lady was uh, upset that she couldn't get one, and I could, and I see why. I don't know if it's my all-time favorite, but it's definitely a good pour. We'll see you guys next time. 